Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. And, you know, it's story time today. I want to share a positive GameStop experience I had recently. Now, I'm not sharing this because I'm a huge GameStop fan. I'm not. In fact, a lot of their practices and how they treat their employees are, oh, oh boy, that company is horrible in many ways. But I did go fairly recently, and I have to say the experience was so positive, so overwhelmingly good, that... <laughs> I have to say, at least at that GameStop, I will probably be a regular from this point on. I'm not saying I'm okay with the company, but I would like to share the story with anyone who might be working at the company up at the higher levels, that this is how you actually gain customers, because I have not been a regular GameStop customer for a kind of a long time, to be honest. I go in and I look, and I almost never buy I do have the Game Pro card, but that's honestly just because of Game Informer. I've been reading Game Informer for so long that I just use the um, Game Pro card as an excuse. I consider just renewing the subscription. And yet, I went recently because I got a coupon. Buy two used video games, get one free. Well, okay. I, I am not the biggest fan of used video games, but when it's buy two, get one free, eh. Okay, and so I come in the store, and the first thing they have is the buy four games for $20, for previously viewed games. Now, the sign specifically stated the games have to be $9.99 and below, which, you know, that's fair. But I was looking through the game, and almost none of the games were $10. Most were 15 some were even 19 It was pretty crazy, really, and... I kind of waved the store manager down, or I don't know if he was a manager, maybe he was an employee. And I said, hey, I'm just asking. The games have to be $10 to get four for 20 because there's almost no $10 games here. And he kind of looked at me, and he was like, mm, yeah, they, we kind of made a mistake, and you know, we'll be cleaning them out this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. And I wasn't going to make a big deal about it. You know, I wasn't going to do that whole jerky thing that some soccer moms do where it's like hey it's in the basket that means uh you have to give me first price because you know there's a lot of kids that go to the store kids move things around and he said and he said yeah you know what buddy but because we made a mistake you know if you find four games in there that you like i'll give you the deal it's like really it's like yeah really now the freedom he kind of gave me with this i probably could have claimed anything from in the store was in there except for something that was like fifty dollars you know but i wasn't going to do that obviously i decided okay well and i found four games in the uh in the bin i found this which was like 17 this which was 15 this which was 15 and this which was also 15. so at five dollars a piece that's pretty good so then I'm looking at the Wii games and you know it says hey if you hey P uh 360 PS3 and Wii games buy two get one free. And I asked, do the Wii U does that count for the Wii U games? And he's like, yep, yeah, they do. And I found three dollars, three dollars, and four dollars. Now this is a game I'd won for a while. This I did want this. Uh, it's kind of interesting though. I got this. Um, I kind of got this because it was the freebie, and I have not been a fan of Bleach for a while, to be perfectly honest. And this game probably isn't very fun, but I actually picked it up kind of because I remember being a kid reading about all these anime theme games that were in Japan that we would never ever get, and said, "Man, if they came here, I'd buy them." And uh, once I started bringing them over, I realized a lot of them really weren't that great. I just wanted to get the, uh, you know, anime games. I'm such a big nerd. Uh, and so I saw this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It's an anime theme game. The inner child of me. Heck, it's free. So, you know, picked up those games. And then I still had the coupon to use. And I asked, so can I still use a coupon or is that it? Or is that it? And... I actually didn't even think myself I was going to use a coupon at this point. And he's like, yeah, you can still use your coupon. So I picked up, I found three games. There's a $15, $15, and 
buy one get one free now here's something i did not know even though i have a game pro card apparently gamestop introduced a new elite pro card which meant that if you you know paid more money like i think it was 30 dollars a year you would get twice as much off basically like you're the gamer club at best buy and um i had the game pro card i did not have the elite and all the prices that i mentioned were for the elite membership and i didn't know this and i really didn't find out because when i got to the register i showed all these games i had this stack of games which you know let's try i some people are probably looking like oh jesus how much did you spend but had all these games and he at one and he said so i noticed you're not an elite member and i'm like oh, what's an elite member and he explained it was like oh well you know that would have been nice but you know i'll i'll still get the game i'll still get the games but i'm not gonna do the elite membership it's that just put even with the savings i would get that just pushes it over and the guy kind of thought about it and he looked at me and he decided you know what You've been really nice this whole time. I mean, you understood the signs, you've been respectful, and you're buying all these games. You know, I'm just going to give it to you for free. So for a year, you can be an Elite Pro member, and that way you can get your... It was like, sweet! And we rang it all up, and at the end of the the visit, he <laughs> saved about $97.57. And... That I have to admit, I mean, GameStop gets a lot of complaints and criticisms, and they deserve to. They they really do. And yet, it just shows how if one of them is just doing something to take care of the customer, I will be a frequent um customer of that GameStop. I will totally be a frequent customer. Now, the only reason I'm not naming any names and I'm not naming locations is because I'm assuming this guy probably should not have done what he did in a couple of these cases. And, um... I don't want him to get fired, and GameStop might very well fire him. Like, wait, you're giving away our Elite Pro card for free? You're making the $15 games for for 20 I mean, ha. Ah. But here's the thing. I don't expect him to do it every single time. But just the fact that he did it once, just to be nice, it's like, you know what? I get the sense you care about me as a customer. I don't need much, and heck, I wasn't even asking for it. But you did it because I was a customer, and he thought it was nice, and so, you know, I want to give you a deal. And now I have an Elite Pro member, so I might actually buy a few more used games at GameStop. And I have not been a frequent GameStop shopper in a long time. And that actually has a real chance of turning around and changing. Because I usually get my games at Best Buy, but hey, you know what? If I'm getting, I got these great deals, so hey, I'll support GameStop for that. I really will. Now, if there was one disappointing thing about that visit, it was this, and... This isn't even GameStop's fault, per se. Guy came into the store, was bringing some used games to sell. And I realized way too late what was happening. But GameStop gave him, like, about $14. And the guy had pretty much the entire Mega Man X series on PlayStations, complete in cases and manuals, with the exception of one, which was missing a manual. And uh, GameStop gave him $14.57 in cash or something like that. I saw the transaction and as he handed the cash and oh my gosh, I wish, I wish I had known what was going on because if I had seen what was being sold and what GameStop was offering him, I would have said, hey, I'm sorry, I give you 20 bucks for those games and GameStop would not have matched that price and he probably would have like, okay, sure. So I could have had the complete Mega Man X games on PlayStation for $20. It's the only disappointing thing about this trip um but that's not GameStop's fault that was just me not paying attention so to speak um you know for the record people if, if you've got used games that are something before PlayStation 3 heck even before PlayStation 2 don't bring it to GameStop um sell it to a collector they will usually give you a better deal like they really will so but anyway I just wanted to make this video because you know I got all of these games for a steal of a price and GameStop took care of me and as a result I will be shopping more frequently at GameStop at least that GameStop I'll be shopping more frequently at and I don't expect deals like that every single time but you know with YouTube being how many you making how many GameStop sucks videos and again they're they're partially justified they really are I just wanted to share my positive experience 
and say, you know what, there are some GameStops out there that aren't bad, they're good, and if more of them took care of people and weren't always deliberately trying to pull a fast one on their customers, I think I think they would be in much better shape than they are now. But that's just my thought. What about you guys? Do you agree with that? Disagree? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member for $1 a month. As always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.